What's up? This is Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. Welcome to episode 195, 195. This is your Monday motivation today. I just wanted to pop on real quick. I'm in between clients. Um, um, and I wanted to just talk, spread some love, and give you some good energy on this Monday about um, when you find yourself saying, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? So that's what I'm talking about today. Yeah, I'm fresh, fresh off a therapy session for myself. Oh, thank you, God, for therapists. Okay, because, whoo, <laughs> I'm so grateful for my therapist. If you feel like you need someone to talk to, you should find a counselor or therapist of your own. I know I counsel a lot of people, but we all need somebody to talk to. I am live on Instagram. I'm live on Facebook. So all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. So let's get into it. What's up, Neil? What's up, Brandon? I see you. What's up, Kayla? What's up, Rocky Real? What's up, Melissa? So listen, let's get into it. Again, popping on really quick. Seriously, um, a quick mo Monday motivation for you. We oftentimes in our live... Um, in our daily life, whether it's not just with our acting career, with whatever we're doing. I'm going to talk to actors because that's my main audience, you guys know. But we can often find ourselves saying, you know, we didn't book the gig. Man, what's wrong with me? That's the fourth gig, fourth audition I had. Fourth audition I had and I didn't book it. What's wrong with me? Man, I went in that audition room. My nerves took over. What's wrong with me? Right? Oh, I just flubbed those lines. What's wrong with me? Right? You know, I can't get, I can't seem to find a new agent. What's wrong with me? Right? Listen, if you're being honest, you've heard yourself say that. What's wrong with me? Thank you, phone, for giving me my reminder. Right? We can hurt anybody. Can can I get a can I get an amen in the chat? If whether you're watching live or the replay, have you ever said that out loud or to yourself silently? What's wrong with me, man? This hasn't happened. What's wrong with me? Just somebody. One. Let me get one amen or one yes. That's me. Just so I know I'm not alone, unless I'm the only one who was asked that question. What's wrong with me? I'm gonna wait till I get one response. Thank you, Neil. What's up, Neil? Yes, yes. Come on. Hey, Wilson. Right? So, yeah. So, today I was coaching. Shout out to Alvin, one of my Inner Circle members. Um, we had an early session this morning, and we were just talking, and just and I was sharing some stories about some bad auditions. He was, first of all, he was like, Christine, I'm so happy to hear that you've had bad auditions. I'm like, hell yeah, I had some bad auditions. <laughs> but what I have learned over the years Asking the question, what's wrong with me, is not a powerful question, and it doesn't come from a powerful place. Instead, what I've learned to ask myself is, what's going on with me? There's a difference. So when things are not working out, that audition sucked, we haven't booked in a while, or haven't gotten, haven't gotten in the room, new team, new rep, and the, the default at question is, man, what's wrong with me? Why? Something must be wrong with me. I must be doing something wrong. What's wrong? I like to ask myself, what's going on with me? And I told you I'm fresh up a therapy session, so I'm like extra cerebral right now. So stick with me and give me a case in point. I had an audition a few weeks ago. It was one of them weeks where it was gratefully super busy, but this one audition, the day of this audition, I had two. And on the way to this second one, my car started acting up. You know how, I don't know, men, I think women do this more like we wait till we got to hear something like when I heard a clank 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 then I was like oh no even though the problem's been there for quite some time <laughs> so I'm, I'm on the way to this second audition of the day not as prepared as I could have been because I put a lot of energy into the first one of the day right because it was a larger one more text and I'm I'm hearing all the clanking of my car and Anyway, I'm like kind of angsty and then the audition had a lot of angst and it was an emergency and all this stuff. And of course, I'm an amazing actress. Like, of course, like that guy got called in because I, hey, Prince, chill with the, my dog is laying on the ring light on the bottom. Okay. So of course, right? He is, hey, sir, I'm live. He's shaking his legs. <laughs> Instagram seeing the camera shake. So let's just say the audition did not go as well as I would have liked. And for, you know, and I left the room and this is what I'm sharing with you today. I left the room. Like some of you are doing this. The audition doesn't go the way you would have liked the way you had even done your visualization that you saw elements came and affected it like it did for me that day. The difference is, and here's what I want to coach you through and give 
put into your spirit on this Monday. I didn't leave that audition and say, what's wrong with me? Oh, I must not be a good actor. Oh, I can't believe I screwed that up. Like, oh, I mean, maybe am I losing? Is my agent going to drop me? Maybe I've lost my touch, even though I just had the touch at an audition earlier. Like, I didn't do the self-deprecating, like, ah. What I did ask myself, I got back to the car, and I said, ooh, what's going on with me? What's going on within me? And then I just sat there in the car before I pulled off, because I already knew. That was one of those auditions. I knew I left, like, thank, I said, thank you. <laughs> it was one of those I know I didn't get. I sent my thank you note in the mail, though, and did all my usual things. But I knew I, I, knew I didn't book it. Like, that would have been one of them weird, random randos, right? And I sat in the car and I said, let's reverse engineer. Have you ever found yourself in a funk? You don't even know why? Like you're in a funk, you're just off your rhythm, you just don't know why. Can I get an amen in the comments somewhere? If that's ever been you. And so what I usually need to do, I gotta reverse engineer. I gotta reverse engineer. What happened? Cause sometimes we're just dealing with our day. We're dealing with our day. That's why I'm coming to you on this Monday so that you can prep this for the week. We're sometimes we're letting the day take us. We're letting the day take us. Thank you, I see you, Anthony. Shout out to you, Anthony, booking magnet, all in my television, right? But sometimes we're just in our day, we're in our week, we're just going, 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 and then we don't realize we end up in this funk or something's going on and we haven't checked in. And when I sat there, I see you, Farah. When I sat there, I was like, I said, what happened? Okay, I was cool up until this point. I was feeling good after the first audition, then that, and then that car started making, whoop, whoop, there it is, there it is. For me, the car started making noise. I got angsty. I got nervous. God, am I going to make it home safely? Will I even get the car to the car repair? I live all the way in Chatsworth. I'm in Laurel Canyon. Like, that's when it started. So you got to start asking different questions. Don't go to the negative of what's wrong with me. You are fine. You are perfect. But something is going on within you. So you could have had an argument with somebody. You could have been stressed about a bill. For me, it was my car. It made me nervous. And then the energy of the character was nervous. And I just it was too much for my soul and my spirit to deal with in that room. And at the end of the day, guys, we're actors, but we're human beings. We're dealing with like so much stuff in our lives. And so I just said, oh, that's what it was. I was angsty. I was nervous that I wasn't gonna make it home. I was nervous. Like I didn't know what the issue was with my car really. And so I'm making up, it's like going to, when you have, you know, a bump or something, you're like making up, oh God, I probably got. So I was making up the diagnosis for my car and literally was afraid. And I carried all of that in that room. But I did not then chat, uh, challenge my own worthiness or my own talent. And that's what I wanna speak into your life today, right? Let's not, let, let's stop having the default reaction be, what's wrong with me? I'm not worthy, I should just quit. My agent's gonna drop me, oh my gosh. Change the questions we're asking. I love to quote Trevor Otts, who I use this quote in my book, Playing Small, if you don't have it, check the link in my bio. But he says, powerful people, ask powerful questions. Why? Because questions steer focus and what we focus on expands. And so I just needed to know what's going on within me. Once I deal with that, I can understand this isn't about me, this is about one moment. And no, I didn't have that same experience the next day when I had a new audition. But some of you are having these moments in life, auditions or whatever, and then carrying it into the next audition, thinking something is still wrong with you. And in fact, it was something you were going through, AKA growing through, that you just needed to tap into and figure out what that was. So I hope that resonates with you today. I just wanted to put that on your heart for this Monday. I pray that you have a productive, abundant week. You know, do what you need to do. I challenge you to get a sticky note you know, being Mary Jane style and write something powerful on a piece of paper today that you can repeat and you can look at and see, right? Some of you need to come into a place. Another word that came up for us today in my session was surrender. Some of you need to surrender some things. Surrender that, that callback you had. Surrender the pen you had, right? Surrender whatever it is that is taking up too much space in your mind, in your heart, and you can't focus on the tasks at hand, the new auditions at hand, because you're living in last week or the callback of the test that you had that didn't uh, pan out the way you wanted it to.
I say that there is space always being made. What did we say? There was a few episodes uh, last week or so, and on the podcast, all doors will open. I declare that doors are open. But if you're too stuck in last week or last month or the last audition because you're talking about your worthiness, you won't even see that open door. And then you're going to sit here and talk about ain't no doors opening for you, boo. If you open your eyes and get out of yesterday, you will see that open door. Y'all got me sweating up in here. Anywho, that's all I wanted to say. This is episode 195 of Actors Daily Bread. If you're not subscribed to me on YouTube, I don't know why. If you're an actor, come on over and subscribe, share the love, tell a friend, and stay encouraged more than anything. We're still human beings. And as performers, as creatives, as artists, we are usually more tapped in to our emotions than the average person. That's our job. Our job is to pretend and our job is to tap in and tell the truths of these characters and bring their spirits to life. And a lot of times that can be hard to shake. So stay encouraged. I'm Christine Horn. <sighs> I just gotta take a breath with y'all really quick. <sighs> if you found this helpful, tell a friend. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>